Hi everyone and welcome to Selene Hurley at the Selene Hurley Show. And today's topic is one night so, stands. What do I think of one night stands? Well, personally, I've never had any, honestly. Um I can say um I've only slept with uh three people in my whole life and they uh they were all long-term relationships. Um, you know, I don't think that... Uh, I think that if you have needs as a female, I think you should keep it discreet. Um, I don't think it's for everyone to know. Um, so I kind of wrote uh, some do's and don'ts on um, what you should do on a one-night stand and what you shouldn't do on a one-night stand, as in my perspective... Because I do have a lot of friends that do have them, and because, you know, if you have needs, hey, you know, everyone has needs. Um, my advice to females that are are having um, one-night stands um, is just, um, if you're having one-night stands, keep it private, you know, don't publicize it for everybody. So, in my little notebook I have... <laughs> I'm going to do read my do's and don'ts. So my first do, do make your intentions clear. So that way no one gets hurt in the long run. Sorry. Ugh. No one gets hurt in the long run. So if you're only for a one night stand, make sure the guy you're going to have that one night stand with is clear you know, on what you're doing, you know, if you're talking to this guy for that night and just say, hey, you know, this is not going to be a relationship, this is only going to happen once, and don't catch feelings, now, if the nigga catches feelings, then that's on him, you know what I mean, that's, that's plainly on him, you told him what it was, and you kept your part of the bargain, okay, um, uh, other thing, uh, another part of advice is, um, go, as well how should I say it go without it for as long as you can like go without it like test yourself go without it as much as you can because then you don't want to be known as a whore because if you have one night stands every night that's kind of whorish and you don't want to be labeled a hoe or a slut you know what I mean so if you want to go about it the right way I don't know if it's a right way or a wrong way but my opinion of what a right way should be, um, would be go without it as long as you can. When you absolutely cannot, then, you know, hey, you know, go ahead for it. Um, another do is do talk about, say, sex with the guy. Um, if the guy don't have a condom, don't screw him. Um, because one, that's how kids happen. Uh, two, that's how disease happen. And ladies, um, I just do want to. I do want to bring this up. Uh, there's. I don't know if you guys seen this or heard about this in the news, but in New York, uh, there was three guys that actually have HIV. Uh, they're not. They're not in jail yet, but they are wanted, and they are going around and uh, with and screwing females and males, not just females, males too. Uh, they're screwing both sexes and giving them HIV without them knowing. And I looked at those guys' pictures, and they're not they're not bad looking. Like, any girl will go for them. That is the problem. So please, ladies, please, please, if you do have one night stands, do please use protection. Make sure you talked about, uh, about it with him. And ladies, you're worth waiting for. Like, you're for JJ. That's yours. And that's your gold, that's your treasure. You should not be sharing this. People should be wanting to fight for their gold. You know, make it hard to get a little bit. If the nigga is not going to wear a condom, don't screw him. There's something iffy about it. Especially with that shit around with the guys with the HIV. Don't do it. Don't do it because, girls, I will feel so sorry if you do get a disease and you have a little one. You know? Um, another thing I want to cover is... Um, 
do not get mushy or romantic. Girls, if it's going to be a, especially for one of my friends, if you're going to uh, have a one night stand, do not get mushy or romantic because you don't want to make it personal. You catch feelings and then he's really just playing you. So don't make sure you don't because I know girls don't do it intentionally, but while they're flirting and doing their thing, I mean, you don't have to be flirting. Once it's, it's like a business. You want to do this? Hey, let's go at it. This is not going to be nothing more but this. Do not catch feelings. Um, another thing is, oh yeah, do not post this on Facebook, okay? Do not um, go and put your status as, oh, today I'm going to go to a restaurant with a special someone, wink, 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 smiley face, tongue out. You know, don't, don't do that. No one needs to know your personal life. Because then that's how you get labeled, okay? Um, if you're going to put every night, hey, I'm going out with this person. Oh, this guy just took me out. Then you're just, don't do that to yourself. Don't post it on Facebook. Just don't. It's, don't do it. <laughs> it's a trap. You're entrapping your own self. And then you're like, I wonder why people talk about me. Just don't post it on Facebook. Don't. It's stupid. If you're doing your own thing. Let it be your own thing. If you have a trusted friend that knows won't open her mouth, then tell her, okay? But don't put it on Facebook. Uh, and last one is do tell a friend where you're going just in case. If you're going out with a random guy with you having a one night stand with, do tell your friend where he's taking you supposedly. And um, make sure you get a head, uh, look at his license plate. You know what I mean? And let let him talk to your friend. She'll look at his license plate. Because there's a lot of sick people in this world. And if you get kidnapped in that white night stand. Mm, who can find you? You gotta tell somebody. You gotta tell somebody. One night stands I think are. For people that. Have already had sex. And because everyone knows that once you have your first time I mean it depends on the situation I'm not gonna say all I'm gonna say most females that have had sexual intercourse for the first time after the first time they just you know they need it it's a necessity to them they just like oh I'm frustrated uh but um if you um or if, if you're a virgin don't don't go for it because it's just gonna destroy you don't don't do it don't give yourself that name. That's a very bad name. Um, at least you want your first time to be special, you know, not in the back of an alleyway behind a, a dumpster when you bend over, you know? <laughs> Just saying. Um, ladies, there's a lot of respect out for women, but the thing about it is you got to earn it. Um, personally, like I said, I've never... Had you know, uh, stands and some people, sex is just sex. To me, sex should be love. And if it's not expressed in love, then why have sex at all? Then you just feel dirty and then you just feel used. I mean, that's how I would feel. If I would just have one night stand, I would feel like the really dirtiest person. I would feel so used or not that I'm using him. I just feel like I really just stooped down to that. But I'm worth more, you know? And you don't know who your future husband is going to be. So you don't know if that's their friend. And then you're like, oh, crap. Like, when you meet your friends, he's like, hey, meet my friends. And then the one dude you had that one night stand with it happens to be there. You're just like, oh, no, that's awkward. And then that marriage that could have been or, you know, relationship that was going good could turn sour. You screwed my friend. You know, so you, it's a lot of choices you got to make in your mind. Um, personally, I would say, um, you know, masturbation is great and does wonders. So, I mean, learn to love yourself. If you love yourself, then masturbation is so much easier. Um, you know, porn, whatever. But I would avoid having one night stands personally. Um, but if you feel in that you must, that you can't help yourself, um, then, hey, take my advice that I gave you in the beginning of the video, you know, be careful, be cautious, use protection, because you don't know where he's been or what he's stuck it in, 
um, there has been a lot. Um, there, those three men in New York, uh, they're actually in Maryland now, and um, they've infected 224 people, male and female. So with that said, there is 224 people, New York and Maryland, that are infected with HIV. So please, ladies, and they might not know it, so please use protection. Um, I would avoid it just for that fact. If I, if I was single, because I'm not single, if I was and I was doing that, I would not have one night stands just for that simple fact in the news. I'm like, oh, no way, not me. You know, I have a kid, you know, I have a three-year-old daughter who, you know, is my world. And that's, um, that's it for me. One night yeah. stands, I would say, I wouldn't recommend it, but if you must, go for it. But, um, that's been my advice. And, um, if you have any other requests, please uh, comment under them um, under my videos. Um, if you want to know, I also do um, horoscopes and tarot cards um, and birthday personality. So please uh, subscribe to me and it's been Saloni Harley. Bye guys. Dark Sex was good, you had my mind And I let you come back every time You were violating, crossed the line And you knew that I would be the type To always wait so patiently Thinking you was coming home to me Well, damn, I never heard the keys or